How's it guys? Today I'm bringing you another exciting video uh, from Sean from Print or Die. He supplied me with a BTT card. Please consider subscribing to this channel. We want to keep the subscribers going and keep the views coming. I see there's a lot of views and 92% of, of my viewers are not subscribed. Subscribe to the channel. Click on the notification icon so you can see when I release new videos. I'm trying to release new videos at least once a week, but maybe two to three times a week. I'm really pushing this channel now. Please subscribe, subscribe guys. I've got my subscriber counter monitoring there. And I can see as soon as a new person subscribes. So please subscribe to this channel. You must go check out his website at Print or Die. He's got a great selection of products there at a really reasonable price. He also is very much customer centric where he looks after his, his customers. I've been a customer for a little while and um, he's really looked after me when I needed. Always available for help. He's on my forums. Uh, so go check out Sean at Print or Die. Great guy, great website, great company. Anyway, he sent me a uh, Big Tree Tech BTT SKR Mini version 1.2. This is a drop-in board directly for a Ender 3. It's designed specifically to drop into the exact same hole and spot that the, uh, the current Ender 3 main board sits in. It's a great budget solution. I'm not exactly sure the price that Sean is going to be selling this for. We're waiting to check our Rand dollar. But it is under $30 overseas. So it really is great value. Not too long ago, I bought a Gen L MKS board, which is a great board with TMC 22808 drivers. And yeah, that did turn out to be a little bit on the more expensive side. So this is about half the price of that. Yet it has TMC, wait for it, 2209 drivers on it really shocked me how they managed to get that onto that small board and how great those drivers are. The drivers are not replaceable, they're not plug-in boards, they're directly soldered onto the board so you won't be able to replace them. But the quality that you get out of this little board is quite phenomenal. So I did a bit of a recording on a calibration cube on the uh, Ender 3 with the old motherboard in, with the original Ender 3 motherboard in. Uh, I had to take out my MKS and reassemble my printer to have the old board back in. And it actually made me a little bit nostalgic when I, when I heard the printer drivers going and I could hear the motors and the stepper motors printing. Uh, it was a bit of a nostalgia from when I first got the printer, how excited I was. But the quality was never that great, nor was the, the sound of the printer. The, the printer was always very loud. Uh, because of those drivers, it had the A4988 driver in it. So those were very noisy drivers and they were on the original board. So after putting the board in and doing the recording, um, I took the board out again. This is the original Ender 3 board and I've put the MKS mini board in here. He has a picture of it because I've already put it in my machine. The MKS board is a real powerhouse of a board, uh, especially for its size and for its price. The price is quite phenomenal. The BTT board is ready to print out of the box. You take it out of its box, out of its packaging, and you plug it in as a one for one. So what I would like to do, what I like to do is I unplug each plug. And as I unplug it from here, I plug it into the new board. You can also mark your, uh, your cables on everything so that you know exactly where they are with a piece of uh, masking tape or a, a label or a sticker and uh, map, it, map that out, unplug everything, put the new board in. But for me, I just took the, the plug out, plugged it into the new board, plugged the plug out, the old board, plugged it into the new board, and so on and so forth. So that I wouldn't get the wiring in wrong in any way and everything was, was properly wired up. I just took care of the screw in terminals to make notes of what was where and how it was wired up. So anyway, I popped it into my board, into my ender, and straight away, straight off the bat, it started to print. So that is a great thing. You take it out of the box, pop it into your printer, and start printing. I do suggest that you do the PID settings. That's in this video over here. Uh, you can see how to do that because the PID settings, it might fail while printing because of the heat. Uh, it's not properly calibrated. The PID settings are not properly calibrated. So... What are the main advantages of this BTT board? Well, it comes out of the box ready to start printing. It has a BTT firmware compiled uh, for it ready, so you can go onto the GitHub and you can get the, the latest version of their compiled firmware. Pop the firmware onto the SDK, which, um, the SD card, which I found rather neat. So you pop the latest firmware on the SD card. If it's the BL Touch version, you can go and download that version. Pop it onto your SD card, turn your printer off, Put your SD card back in and turn the printer back on 
and it will update the firmware on its own. I'll show you in a future video on how to update the firmware via uh, VS Code, Visual Studio Code. And uh, yeah, it is for you to be able to modify your, your printer. I had to modify because I've got the Titan Extruder installed in my printer, which is a geared extruder, and it will turn in the opposite direction of your, of your stock industry uh, codes. So I had to go in and change the firmware and update the firmware. But I'll be showing that in a future video, not in this video, because it is working on a standard ender board straight in, you can pop in and go. It has TMC smart features. I'm not going to talk too much about this. We can look at this into a future video, but the TMC drivers have smart features and it really is a very powerful chip and a powerful driver. It's quite amazing that they're changing a driver will change the sound of a stepper motor. So TMC smart features are there. Um, it's got a linear advance. It's got baby stepping, your BL touch, your filament runout detectors you can put on here. Also, it's got something called NeoPixels. Now, I'm not sure if you know what NeoPixels are. These are addressable ICs that are addressable for your LEDs, RGB LEDs. And you can then control your LEDs directly from the board so that you can set, for example, when the printer started, it's green, when it's finished, it's red or whatever. If it failed, it goes red. So you can see by the color of the LEDs what the status of your print is. You can even phase through colors to get to your final point. One of the other nice features about this board is there's no bootloader needed. Now, if you remember back in one of my previous videos, I did the uh, upgrading of the firmware on an Ender, the standard Ender 1.1.3 board, and you needed a bootloader in order to load the firmware. There is no bootloader. Bootloader, as I say, if you compile the firmware, put it onto the SD card, plug the SD card in, and turn the machine on, it will upgrade the firmware. Thermal runaway protection is enabled by default. That's another failing of the old board, of the original board. There was no thermal runaway. That is the reason why you would have to upgrade your firmware of your Ender 3 board. So there was no thermal runaway. That is now enabled by default. It's got a 32-bit processor, guys, an ARM 32-bit processor, which is quite phenomenal. This, you know, it, it enables the calculations to perform faster, to get better quality prints. Um, and so I'm really excited that it's got a 32-bit processor. It's not really needed as a 32-bit processor in this type of uh, printer. If you've got the Delta printer, the Delta printer requires a lot more calculations for it to do the printing properly. So that benefits more from a 32-bit board, but a 32-bit board in this machine does no harm and it actually helps in a lot of things. It's a common complaint on the old board where you get zebra striping in your prints. This totally removes zebra striping, so you've got far better control on your prints. Your prints are neater, um, and with the 32-bit helps that as well. The printer is so much quieter. So watch this little clip here right now on how noisy the original board was. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go home, and I'm gonna start printing the calibration cube. As you can see, that was quite a noisy process. Uh, the homing is loud. You can hear the stepper motors going. And now let's do the exact same test with the BTT board in it.
as you can see, that was a lot quieter. Your homing is near. The only thing you hear are the fans or the printer. You've got, you've got your, your cooling fan on the front here and your power supply fan. That's all you can hear. The rest of the sound is so low in the on the drivers, on the actual drivers themselves. I'm so amazed at how quiet these stepper motors can be just by changing the driver. You haven't changed the stepper motors. Bear in mind, you've just changed the driver. So that is the ultimate advantage of this. Your printer is so much quieter. Uh, in a, as you heard by the previous example of how quiet the print is, it is phenomenal. The other thing about the board is it's easy to install because it's a straight swap for the original board. You don't have to print any other different holders for it like you had to do for the MKS Gen L. And the upgrade is pretty simple. You just plug it in and you're ready to go. And it's affordable. The price is really so competitive. The fact that you're getting TMC 2209 drivers in this board for under $30 is, is phenomenal. It's an absolutely amazing bargain. So guys, I suggest you go out, get yourself one of these boards. They are amazing. Sean from Print or Die will be stocking these shortly. I'm sure he'll have it up on his website very shortly. Uh, and I know that because of the lockdown, we are unable to get stock in. So as soon as the stock arrives, it'll be updated on his website and go out and get one of these boards. You will not regret it. It is a phenomenal value and it takes the Ender 3 from a stock uh, starter machine to a far more professional machine and it takes it that next step up very quickly and really a professionally great value. Guys, that's it for this video. Please consider subscribing. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments about what you liked or disliked about this video and what you want to see further on these videos. Catch you soon, guys. God bless. Thank you.